episode 5 financial statements with adjustments let's take one more question this is the trial balance as on 31st december 2017 opening stock as on 1st january 2017 1000 you know opening stock means the stock in the beginning of this accounting year our books are closed on 31st december 2017 it means our accounting year begins on 1st january and ends on 31st december every year in some companies in some countries firms the accounting year starts on 1st April and it finishes or ends on 31st March. In our question, our accounting year is 1st January to 31st December. So opening stock means as on 1st January 2017, 1000 purchases, 2000 sales terms, 100 freight inward, 200 interest on short term loans, 700 accounts receivable, 4000 building, 1000 patents, 2000. Capital 2000, sales 4000, purchases, returns 300, short term loans 1000, bank loan 2000, commission 700, reserve fund 1000. Total 11000 on both sides and adjustments means the additional information below the trial balance. Closing stock 300, depreciation on building 100. Be careful, this closing stock is as on 31st December 2017, that is 300. So next adjustment is depreciation on building 100, manager's commission at the 10% on profit before commission. It means we have to provide commission to the manager at the rate of 10% of the profit. Which profit? before calculating this commission. So let's prepare the format of trading account, profit and loss count and balance sheet as usual. So first of all, we'll take up adjustments. Closing stock 300 on the credit side of trading account and on the debit side of balance sheet means asset side. Then depreciation on building 100 rupees. You know what is the general entry of depreciation? That is depreciation to building 100. You know depreciation is an expense. It reduces our profit. And number two, it reduces the value of that asset. So general entry is depreciation 100 to building 100. Depreciation will go to the debit side of profit and loss account and to building 100 means it will go to the credit side of balance sheet means liability side but building cannot be taken to the liability side so it will be taken to the asset side but will be deducted in the inner column so what is the value of building in the trial balance that is 1000 so write down building 1000 in the inner column minus depreciation 100 in the outer column it will be 900 rupees. Then manager's commission. The general entry will be manager's commission account debit to outstanding manager's commission. Because if we calculate the commission today, it will be paid next year, means 2018. Naturally, it will become the outstanding expense. So manager commission account debit, this is an expense. It will go to the profit and loss account debit side. And to outstanding manager commission, this is the liability, it will go to the balance sheet, liability side, outstanding manager's commission. But at this stage, sorry, at this stage, we don't know the amount of manager commission, it will be calculated later on. So we can leave the space for amount. So in this way, we have taken up all the adjustments. Now come to the trial balance and take all the items one by one. Always be careful. Each and every item of the trial balance will go to the financial statements. Means you can't skip any item. And debit side will go to the debit side and credit side will go to the credit side of financial statements. 
सो ओपनिंग स्टॉक वन थाउजेंड ऑन डेबिट साइड ऑफ ट्रेडिंग अकाउंट परचेसेस टू थाउजेंड ऑन द डेबिट साइड ऑफ ट्रेडिंग अकाउंट इन द इनर कॉलम सेल्स रिटर्न वन हंड्रेड इट विल गो टू द क्रेडिट साइड ऑफ ट्रेडिंग अकाउंट इन द इनर कॉलम फेट इन वर्ड टू हंड्रेड दिस इज डायरेक्ट एक्सपेंस सो इट विल गो टू द ट्रेडिंग अकाउंट डेबिट साइड इंटरेस्ट ऑन शॉर्ट टर्म लोन्स सेवन हंड्रेड इट विल गो टू द डेबिट साइड ऑफ प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट अकाउंट रिसीवेबल दिस इज एन एसेट अकाउंट रिसीवेबल मीन्स दिस द टोटल ऑफ डेटर्स एंड बिल्स रिसीवेबल्स सो इट विल गो टू द बैलेंस शीट एसेट साइड एंड वन थिंग मोर दिस इज करंट एसेट एंड देन बिल्डिंग वन थाउजेंड इट विल गो टू द एसेट साइड ऑफ बैलेंस शीट पेटेंट्स इट इज एन इंटेंजिबल एसेट विल गो टू द एसेट साइड ऑफ बैलेंस शीट न कम टू द क्रेडिट बैलेंसेस कैपिटल टू थाउजेंड इन द इनर कॉलम इन द बैलेंस शीट सेल्स फोर थाउजेंड इट विल गो टू द क्रेडिट साइड ऑफ ट्रेडिंग अकाउंट सो फोर थाउजेंड माइनस वन हंड्रेड थ्री थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड इन द आउटर कॉलम परचेसिस रिटर्न थ्री हंड्रेड इट विल गो टू द डेबिट साइड इन द इनर कॉलम सो टू थाउजेंड माइनस थ्री हंड्रेड वन थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड इन द आउटर कॉलम शॉर्ट टर्म लोन्स दिस इज द शॉर्ट टर्म लाइबिलिटी इट विल गो टू द लाइबिलिटी साइड ऑफ बैलेंस शीट बैंक लोन दिस इज द लॉन्ग टर्म लोन लाइबिलिटी इट विल गो टू द लाइबिलिटी साइड ऑफ द बैलेंस शीट कमीशन 700 this is income it will go to the credit side of profit and loss account reserve fund 1000 it will go to the credit side of balance sheet means liability side of the balance sheet reserve fund is nothing but a general reserve means this is an accumulated profit if there is any accumulated profit accumulated profit means the firm has made the profit but it it has not yet been transferred to the capital if the firm invest money equal to the general reserve somewhere then that general reserve becomes reserve fund reserve fund means general reserve accompanied by some investments means the same value of investment so it is the item of the liability side in the balance sheet so on trading account that will be to gross profit 1300 and the total on both sides 4200 profit and loss account gross profit 1300 and the total on credit side is 2000 and the total on debit side is only 800 because two items are there 700 and 100 so it means still we have to calculate managers commission but without commission the profit at present is without commission means the profit before commission that will be 2000 minus 800 1200 means at present without commission the profit of the firm is 1200 means this is the profit before commission and we have to calculate 10% of the profit because it has been clearly written in the adjustments provide managers commission at the rate of 10% of the net profit before commission so the profit before commission is 1200 so to outstanding managers commission at the rate of 10% on the debit side will be 120 we had already left the space for amount the amount will be 120 so what will be the net profit 1200 minus 120 that will be 1080 1080 and the total on both sides 2000 in this way we calculated a rough profit on rough notes without considering managers commission and that was 1200 and we provided managers commission at the rate of 10% of 1200 means 1200 is the profit before commission be careful the net profit after commission is 1080 now this is the net profit it will go to the balance sheet so 2000 added to 1080 in the outer column 3080 and outstanding managers commission that will be 120 on the liability side because this managers commission will be paid next year in 2018 so total on both sides 7200 so in this way if there is managers commission first of all 
it will be taken to the profit and loss account debit side. Secondly, it will become the liability for the firm. And if there is depreciation, number one, it goes to the debit side of profit and loss account. And number two, it goes to the asset side and reduces the value of that asset in the balance sheet on asset side. 